SpaceX goes for two big reuse milestones with the next launch. On Tuesday, the company completed a static test firing of Falcon 9. So guys, let's get started. So as you can guys know that the nearly three months have passed since SpaceX flew a rocket. The company last launched the AMOS, that means Amos 17 satellite on August 6 aboard of Falcon 9 rocket. But, but now the company is returning to the launch pad to send its second batch of Starlink internet satellites into low earth orbit on Tuesday SpaceX completed a static test firing of the Falcon 9 rocket first stage that is presently scheduled to launch on November 11 from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. Beyond the primary mission this flight is going for two rocket reuse milestones. This will be the first time the SpaceX has attempted to fly the same Falcon 9 first stage four times. This particular stage flew on July 25, Radium 7 mission and October 8, SACOM 1A in 2018, as well as February 22, Nushantra Shatu and Bear Sheet spacecraft this year. Additionally, SpaceX will also attempt to use or additionally, SpaceX will also attempt to reuse the payloads fearing from the first time. After a Falcon Heavy launch of the Arab said 6A mission in April, SpaceX recovered both half of the payloads fearing from the Atlantic Ocean. Those fearings have since been reversed. It is not clear how much work needed to be done to clean them and mitigate the effects of any salt water damage and will now fly on the Starlink mission. One of the benefits for the SpaceX of flying its own payloads into SpaceX is that it can take on the extra risks of reusing a fairing without having to convince a customer to do so. Since the SpaceX launched its first batch of 60 experimental Starlink satellites in May, the program has upset some astronomers who have compelled that the dozens of the satellites traveling across the sky have ruined the view of the star. Astronomers also worry about the light pollution from the thousands more. SpaceX has bought to minimize the problem to extend possible but it intends to proceed with a constellation that could one day include 10,000 or more satellites to deliver broadband internet around the world. Last month, SpaceX founder or CEO Elon Musk tweeted via Starlink for the first time and with an additionally 6 to 8 launches, the company says it could begin offering broadband services in the United States by 2020. So, this is, so hope you guys you learn something from this video and if you learn something from the, this video then please give us a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe my youtube channel so that whenever i upload my new video you will get the notification first i know guys sorry for my english but my english is not good i am learning this language and i am trying hard to give you some information related to spacex and hope you guys learn something from this video and yeah if you learn something from this video then please subscribe this channel and also let me know in the comment box that what will be the impact of Starlink satellites in the sky.